Hi guys, I'm going to just teach you how to put your keyboard into two languages. Uh, so basically, if you speak Spanish, for example, and English, you might want your keyboard uh, with those special characters. So we're just going to go to System Preferences um, that you can find right here, System Preferences, and we're going to go into your language and text. Um, next, we're going to go into Input Sources, and from here you can pick your language. This doesn't mean that you're changing, you want to keep your English one, so you're just going to leave a check mark on your English one. For example, I have my Canadian English right here. Um, so that will ma maintain my keyboard as in English. And, but I do want to write in Spanish sometimes, since I do make Spanish videos. Um, so I just, I just put a check mark on it, and that's it. That's how easy it is. Um, so basically, you're going to put here... It should be set as default, allow a different one for each document. Um, so that's good, so you can switch it around. Um, so basically, once you close this, you will see up here, you're going to get a Canadian flag or US flag, and you can switch it up from Spanish to English. So let's say you're writing something in um, Google, for example. Let's just go to Google. Okay. All right, this might be a little slow right now <laughs> since I'm uploading a few videos. Anyways, um, if you're typing in Google, for example, in English, it will correct you in English. So let's type something such as hello. I'll type it with two O's. Well, there's a lot of hellos with uh, two O's. Anyways, um, it will it should correct you on your Word. Yeah, if you guys have Microsoft Word or any other one, it will correct you. Um, I'll open it up. Let's show you guys. Google was a bad example. Since in Google, people spell words really weird in, in so many different ways. So I'm just opening up Microsoft Word for Mac. Now you can do kind of the same thing on PC. I will be making a video about that. Um, it's almost the same thing, but of course, you know, you know, you don't have the system preferences there. Um, so basically, if I'm typing here, since it's in English, this actually should uh, correct me. So as you can see, it did correct me. So hello. And for example, if down the document I want to type something in Spanish, switch to Spanish. And then write hola with uh, just two A's. Just go down, it should highlight it, and it corrects me hola. Uh, for example, if I need a special character since it's in Spanish, like uh, N, I just hold down N and it should give me these two options since you have that in Spanish. So you just press number one, and there you have that special character uh, in Spanish. It's that easy. Um, so basically, that keyboard in Spanish uh, should be um, just like a keyboard in Spanish. So you, you maybe you, the look of your keyboard won't work, will not change, but um, the format will. So if you speak Chinese, then the format will change. Uh, maybe if you press number one, it'll be something else if it's uh, for the Chinese setup, for example. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how you change the, the language just for your input. If you're writing down different languages, uh, I like to keep it between my Spanish and my English. If you guys have any questions about your Mac of how to use anything, um, remember to subscribe. I have a bunch of tutorials about Mac and iPhone, iPads, or anything related to Apple software. Also for PC, I can teach you guys a few things. So remember to rate and subscribe.